of this group here as they mature tonight? It, it 100% was that. They've had a lot of opportunities over these last four weeks to be able to throw the towel and not be able to show up consistently. And these guys have just shown up every day in battle and so proud of how they have just continued to work. And it paid off tonight with being able to, the last two weeks we had the ball to be able to go score and win the game, and we did not finish that. And we did that tonight. And just proud of the way that they have not given up. They continue to show up to work and just battle and gotten better and better. And that's what they got to continue to do. There are tough kids here in Mineral, Ohio that are awesome kids that are, will do everything that we ask them to do. They could have thrown in the towel so many times, but we haven't. We've kept that goal, continue to improve every single day. And, and tip a cap to those guys. They played really well in Medina tonight. Um, but just so proud of the way our guys found a way to win it tonight. You talk about being proud. What does it mean when a kid like Ben can come off the bench when your star quarterback goes down in the fourth quarter? Absolutely. That, that, that shows the character. Um, and that's what we've been really talking about is, is character gets revealed in adverse times. And, and Ben Pierce was a tremendous, tremendous example of that. Were we expecting that to happen? Not at all. But what did he do? He got us down there, and, and we didn't score on the one drive there. We could have put our head down. We could have given up, but we kept believing in it, and Ben stepped up and threw a good ball to Jay, and Jay made a heck of a play on that one, and one-on-one-on-one -on -one -on -one coverage, and, and you tip your cap to Jay. Just, that was big boy play right there. Coach. You've seen him make plenty of plays. Was that one of the better ones you've seen him come down with? I'm happy we get him for two and a half more years. <laughs> Coach, not the, not, the, not the ideal start you guys want. You get down 14, but you guys find a way to fight back extremely hard. That, what was just the message that you kind of told the team? Just keep to battling, away? keep fighting, keep believing. And that's something that we've been going the entire week because that Ignatius game, tight down to the wire, Riverside last week, tight down to the river. They could have just stopped believing into it, and they could have just thrown it down when we were down two touchdowns. How, how do they a, didn't do it. How do two close games early in the season like this, you just say Ignatius, now you got to but dying again. How do you just prepare you guys for the long stretch coming during the season? It's about honing in, being able to know and understand every play matters. You've got to be able to finish every play, every drive, and to be able to win that game. And that's what our guys got to continue to do and continue to believe into it. Coach, congratulations. Absolutely. We'll see you next week. Appreciate you. Right. Justin, 55-yard touchdown reception to kind of seal this game, man. Just talk about, you know, what you saw on the play and how you felt. So, you know, first and first, all glory to God. You know, that's come first, and. You know, our quarterback went down, you know, backup came in, made a big play, you know, won us that game. You know, I see the see the coach call my number. I know it's time to go, you know, made a play. Man, so far you're through four weeks, you guys had two battle tested games. The first one was against St. Ignatius. The second one is this week against a, a good Medina team. What does that say about men and man that you guys you know next week you gotta play Cleveland Heights, another tough opponent that you guys can say you, you, you battle tested? So, yeah, we just, you know, focus on putting 48 minutes into a game, you know. Instead of, you know, coming out slow or ending slow, we just got to put 48 minutes into the whole game and win it. Was this kind of like a dream come true moment, man? Uh, a little bit, you know, but, you know, I've been doing this forever, so. Man, that's bold words, man. Well, hey, Justin, man, congratulations again, man. I'm pretty sure this ain't the first big catch we'll see out of you, man. And, you know, we'll be looking forward to you next week at Cleveland Heights.